Hi, I'm Steve Bright from the Windrush Medical Practice. I'd like to talk to you about the basics of taking your home blood pressure reading. Right then, there's a couple of things. You'll have bought a machine, and ideally it's the one that goes above your elbow. We're not that keen on the ones around the wrist. Um, what you need to be doing is sitting nice and relaxed in a chair. You want to be relaxed so you don't want the kids running around or having just listened to Donald Trump on the uh, television. You need to relax and you need to put your feet flat on the ground. Then you've got your gadget and you put it together and you put the cuff on. Let's see if you can show this. With the tube facing away from your head and it needs to be the lower part of the cuff needs to be just above the crease of your elbow. It needs to be moderately tight. You could, you could get a finger in if you had to. Then you have your palm uppermost, your hand nicely relaxed at about heart level. You've rested for about a minute and then you turn on the machine. And it starts to blow up. And you can hear a noise and you feel it beginning to squeeze at the upper part of your arm. And sometimes it'll stop and start. And then as it's dropping down, you'll then start to feel your pulse in your upper arm. And it gradually comes down. It takes about a minute. If it says error, then try again. Right. Then what you do is you write down your numbers. So if we come and have a look at these, you've got your systolic, that's your upper blood pressure, your diastolic, that's the lower blood pressure, and your pulse rate. So what you'd do is you'd write down, say, today's date, and we're going to write that down, so that's 106 over 63. And then what we do is do it again, and you write down your next number. So you blow it up again. Okay, and then you write down your next number. So that one was 113 over 68. And what you'll do is you'll do maybe two, or if you're bothered, you could do three readings in the morning and pick the lowest systolic number, that'd be that one, and the lowest diastolic, that's the lower number, for each session. So that's your morning, and then evening, you'll do your next lot. So then over the course of sort of three to seven days you write down your your two morning readings and your two evening readings and do that for as I said between three and uh, seven days and then on your scratty bit of paper put down the lowest number of the two for the systolic and the lowest number for the diastolic and then we'll do the same for that lot So then you've got your numbers and then you go on the uh, computer and you go and enter these numbers on our website. Right, and then you go to our website. I think the, you'll either have been sent the link or if you haven't then you just search and the easiest thing I find is just search for blood pressure review. And then it comes in here. So then you go in and you uh, add your details, who you are, date of birth, address, um, phone number, smoking history, there might be other things added in from time to time. 
and then you go through your bit of paper and transcribe that. So that was the 20th uh, 2020. Uh, it isn't really that important what your heart rate was. Um, if you want to put that down, that's great, but I'd forgotten to do it, but it's not that important. And we put down the lowest systolic and the lowest diastolic in the morning. And then we do the same thing for the evening. And then you do the next date. So it's easier to do this on your bit of paper beforehand and then do the computing malarkey. One of five. 64 and the evening one two 62 and you keep going through that and your evening these don't have to be consecutive and if you did miss a morning or an evening one that that's fine the, the system's happy with that um, Anywhere between sort of three and seven days is fine. Okay, so I've got a bit fed up. And one good bit about this is that it includes, it does the mathematics. So it'll tell us what your morning average was and your evening average was, and then the overall. And then once you're happy with that, and you've put down your, your details at the top, then say so you confirm and you submit that. And that comes through to your doctor uh, who then has a chance to, you know, over a couple of days to have a, a look at that and um, will then decide whether anything needs to be done or not.